room at the Duval County morgue. It's so full, workers have been forced to place bodies on the floor. Tonight, we're investigating what's fueling this problem and what workers hope will help. Bethany Anderson joins us now. Heroin overdose is a problem that is growing in our area each day. Friends, sisters, parents, passing away, even somebody I knew a few months ago died from a fentanyl related overdose. And it's those deaths that are contributing to the more care in Jacksonville being at max capacity almost every single day. This hallway actually leads to the morgue itself. Working at a medical examiner's office is no easy task. Right. Just ask Tim Crutchfield. Our capacity is, is restrictive. He witnesses families lose their loved ones each day. For my employees, I like to always capitalize on, on that. Behind this door, a small room is filled with bodies of men and women, many that have lost their lives to heroin overdose. Currently, our capacity is around 42 decedents. A problem that is growing increasingly out of control on the First Coast. Last year, Duval ranked highest for fentanyl-related deaths than any other county in Florida. The death toll, more than 1,600. That's putting this morgue at max capacity almost daily. And based on our current caseload, the number of people that are moving into the area or the five counties that we support as well as the opioid epidemic and so forth. Tim says relief is on the way. Be on this side right here. Cooler will arrive on or about April 9th of this year. The city approved $200,000 for a new cooler and work trailer. It will allow a facility to store an additional 40 bodies. The current building only holds 42. Most definitely it's going to increase morale because we have a little bit more maneuver room and space. But most importantly, we're able to better serve the population. Over the next five years, the facility is looking for around $50 million to build a new facility to house patients. In the meantime, they hope that addiction to opioids and heroin goes down. Reporting in the newsroom, Bethany Anderson, First Coast News on your side.